Thanks for joining me. We're looking at the outlook for the next four weeks, taking us up to around December the 15th. We're having a deep dive looking at two different models, the Japanese JMA model and the European ECMWF. So we're going to have a look what they both think is going to happen for the UK over the next four weeks. Oh, and I would appreciate it if you keep watching to the end and then get involved in a question I'm going to ask you because I'd love to know what you think. So let's do this. Week 1, the 15th to the 21st of November and we're using the Japanese JMA model, the first set of images. You can see we've got high pressure in the Atlantic and stretching just into the UK with low pressure over the eastern side of the UK and over Scandinavia and Spain. This is going to bring temperatures 2 to 3 degrees below average for the time of year. It's looking fairly dry with below average rainfall across Scotland, North West England, Northern Ireland. Right now we're going to have a look at the ECMWF model for the more or less the same period. Again, high pressures in the Atlantic over western sides of the UK. It's there stretching over Iceland and Greenland. Slack air pressure through Scandinavia and low pressure through eastern parts of Scandinavia, Germany, Denmark and moving down into Europe. You can see the temperatures are 2 to 3 degrees below average. That's what they're expecting around the UK. And below average rainfall, especially for Scotland, northwest England and Wales and Northern Ireland and Ireland. So what I've done, I've put the JMA images and the ECMFW images together so we can have a, a bit more of a look. Comparisons there two or three degrees below average from the Japanese JMA, same for ECMWF, and we've got uh, dry conditions, especially on the west side of Scotland, Northern Ireland, and if we look at this, exactly the same there from the ECMWF. So we'll give that a great big tick. Great comparisons there. Week 2, 22nd to the 28th of November. Low pressure over Scandinavia through the UK and moving into the Atlantic. This is going to bring temperatures this is going to bring temperatures around average for the time of year and rainfall is looking like above average rainfall for the UK. Let's see what the ECMWF say. There we go again, look, the low pressure from Scandinavia over the UK into the Atlantic. They're saying Scotland, Northern England is temperatures around average and Wales, Midlands, south west of England and south east of England and Northern Ireland is just slightly above average temperatures. And rainfall, it's looking slightly above average rainfall. So let's have a look at the comparisons between the two sets of models. We've got from the JMA average temperatures and from the ECM WF we've got average temperatures for the northern parts of the country and slightly above average temperatures for southern parts. So pretty close there. The rainfall is above average rainfall for from the JMA and the same from the ECMWF. We've got some good comparisons there, fair amount of confidence, so we'll give them both a tick. Bit more difficult this one from the JMA. Could they make it weeks three and four together? From the 29th to the 12th of December. So they're bringing slack air pressure over the UK, low pressure to the north of the UK and high pressure over southern France and Spain. They're bringing temperatures one or two degrees above average for the time of year and above average rainfall for Scotland, North West England and Northern Ireland. Let's see what the ECMWF make of it. 
slack air pressure over the UK uh, with temperatures a couple of degrees above average for the time of year and rainfall Scotland is slightly above average rainfall the rest of the UK is round about average that's week three from the CMWF let's have a look at their fourth week so the fourth week they're bringing in above average temperatures for the east around average temperatures for the west of the country and above average rainfall for wales and the southwest so if we uh, we do a comparison between the jma and the ecmwf and you can see temperatures slightly above average so too far out there's not much difference between the two there and above average rainfall for scotland northern ireland and we've got above average rainfall there in scotland and a bit in wales so again there's not a great deal of difference so i think we we've got a fair amount of confidence that's what's going to happen from these two models so we'll give that one a tick as well well i do hope you found that interesting and some great good comparisons there so it looks like we know where we're going at least for the next uh, four weeks into the middle of december now the question i wanted to ask you did you like this longer version of the four week outlook normally i split them into two different videos the jma and the ecmwf did you find it too long or was it interesting to get them both together do let me know below leave that comment because it's important to me because i want to make videos that you want to watch anyway till we meet again look after yourselves and those you love bfn bye for now